Welcome to Bonnechere Provincial Park, a small, quaint park with a lot to offer. If you're looking for a park with some easy paddling and some easy hiking and a beautiful little beach, then this is the park for you. We are Cheryl and Ben Coles. We've been camping together for over 35 years. A few years ago, we started doing video reviews of Ontario Provincial Parks to help people when researching places to visit. We are now in season four of our park reviews. We hope this helps you when deciding where to have your next camping adventure. Thanks for coming along, Camping with the Coles. got a hose on the end just to stick in there um, but it's a threaded hose here so we can just take this off because we don't need it so set it up there and we'll attach your filter directly to this and now we've got nice filtered water going into the trailer and I'm pretty sure I can just leave it like that we are filling up Cheryl Show them the rest of this fill dump station. So here we are at the dump station. Really long driveway to come up and around, but practicality of this dump station isn't really great. They have one dump and two fill all right together. So only one vehicle can actually use the whole setup, which isn't very user friendly. Here's the dump right here, and then fill and fill. So if anybody needs to dump, they're going to have to wait till we're done filling. Or if somebody's dumping, they're going to have to wait to fill. But I like the nice openness of it all. And they do have a garbage and recycling, which is nice. So this is a non-threaded hose. And you can see it's the kind that is supposed to thwart people from putting things on the end, where the water just goes through there but somebody put electrical tape around it to bypass that so that, that they can add something on the end so they can get a, uh, a threaded end on it. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm having some trouble here. Whoa. This might take a little longer than planned. Okay, we're good now. We're good. Bonacher Provincial Park is a small park located in eastern Ontario. It is just south of the southeast tip of Algonquin Park. The park is on the shores of Round Lake and has Bonacher River running through it. Here we are, site number 14, Tall Pines Campground at Bonacher Provincial Park. Let's go check this place out. Bonacher has three campgrounds for a total of 42 electric and 85 non-electric sites. Tall Pines Campground has 42 electric and 16 non-electric sites. River Loop Campground has 54 non-electric sites. Sandy Flats Campground is radio free and has 15 non-electric sites.
There are two comfort stations. This one in Tall Pines has flush toilets, showers, and outdoor laundry facilities. Uh, $2 for a wash, $2.50 for dry. And in Sandy Flats, they have a comfort station with just flush toilets and showers. There's a camp store with uh, some camping supplies, some basic grocery items and souvenir items. Attached to the store is the Davenport Center, which is a gathering place for many of the activities. And this is in the day use area at the beach. Beautiful beach for swimming at, nice warm water, good and clear, sandy bottom. Near the beginning, there's a little bit of uh, mulch on the bottom. It's nice and soft to walk on. It's not gross at all. A uh, really big void in area here. Um, round lake, great lake for swimming in. And uh, you don't need to bring a beach umbrella if you don't want to, because uh, you can get some natural shade underneath the trees at the uh, edge of the beach. That's where Cheryl's sitting right now. She doesn't want to be in the sun. So no problem, no beach umbrella. No beach tent, it's perfect. The beach area is handicapped accessible. They have the mats that go out that can take you right to the water as well. They actually have a wooden platform with picnic tables and benches that you can sit on right at the beach. There's an awesome playground at the Day Use Beach. It's set up as a pointer boat, an alligator, and a ranger cabin. So it's historical and fun. Power boats are permitted in Round Lake and the Bonashir River. The boat launch goes into the Bonashir River. The boat launch can only accommodate boats up to 18 feet. This is the area where they also house the uh, rental stand-up paddle boards, kayaks, canoes, and corkles. And if you're wondering what a corkle is, so was I. fish in the Bonashir River around lake for largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, pike, pickerel, uh, and lake trout. Mostly what I've been seeing being caught in the Bonashir River is uh, bass. There are four rustic cabins in the park. Three of them sleep four and one of them sleeps six. They're called Sandbar, Floodwaters, River Watch, and Fallen Tree. There's one cottage for rent, it's called the Pine Shores Cottage, and it sleeps six. It's on the shore of Round Lake. There's one trail in the park, and it's called the McNaughton Trail. It's a two kilometer looped trail. It starts in the main campground, takes you up and around the cabins, back to the main campground. It's an easy trail to do, and it is the only one in the park. If you're looking to do some more hiking, you can go to the park store and pick up a booklet from the Friends of Bonashir Parks. And they have a booklet called Walks of the Little Bonashir River. It has 10 trails in there, rated from easy to moderate. You can also download that booklet. It has a PDF from the Friends of Bonashir Parks website. That way you can have it on your phone. You have all the maps and everything right with you. That's free download that they provide. I'll put the uh, link in the description below the video. For cell service here, Bell, Telus, Kudo, and Virgin Mobile. You do get service, however, it's not full service. It works fine if you're just searching the web or posting on social media, things like that. Um, but I did notice that there was a little bit of buffering going on. So I would not rely on it completely if you need to do uh, like uh, work FaceTime meetings or something like that. But for the most part, it's uh, not too bad. the voices of the people who used to live here if you listen hard enough. Let's see what we can find. Hey, that's my compass. I've been looking for that everywhere. Do you know who owns this? Yep, those are my boots from my log driving days. Who might you be? My name is Professor Claire Jones, and I look at artifacts to learn about the history of Bonashare. What's your name? Well, this is John, and this is Jack, and I'm Joseph, but most people just call me Joe. I'm just singing a song to remind me of Doris. The women used to love the log drivers because they're so light on their feet, and they were great at dancing. Doris was, I always loved dancing, but I was never much of a dancer. Sometimes it's like a let it down song. And he goes burling down, down the white water. That's where the log driver learned to step lightly. Oh, 
a horseshoe. Our horse Queenie had lost a day or so ago. I know he's around here somewhere. <laughs> Yikes, I think Jack knows about the Muscat family I shot yesterday. Nice meeting you all. <laughs> <laughs> We just attended the Spirit Walk where we learned about the uh, history. Yeah, the history of Bonashir Park and uh, the voyagers that settled here. Very interesting. Park staff did a great job. I love when they do stuff like this. Time for Cheryl's Lou Review. The uh well, toilets throughout the park are all the same. They all have pit toilets. Um, they have countertop with running water, soap, mirror. The ladies have the receptacles to discard their garbage in. Um, the one by the park store, wheelchair accessible, they have baby changing stations in them as well. So that's a bonus. Um, I mean, they're vault toilets or pit toilets, so they're all gonna smell to some degree. These ones aren't too badly contained. They try and put some air fresheners in here. Um, there is no artificial lighting though. I didn't see, there might be a couple with hooks, but I didn't see too many hooks to hang your things up. Um, overall, oh, I like the pine wood in here. Overall, I'm gonna give these a flower. On this trip, we're with our uh, usual travel mates, Sue and John. This time they brought their daughter, Casey, with them and her dog, Naya. But we also have more friends on this trip. We have our good friends, Jamie and Kelly. That's Jamie, that's Kelly. And uh, they have their cute little Trillium trailer here. Jamie and I, we've known each other since we were 13 years old. And interestingly, we met Cheryl and Kelly when we were 18 years old. So we've all been friends for that long. Now, Jamie just did something very interesting. He hiked the entire Bruce Trail, all 900 kilometers he hiked it. So uh, that's a little bit more than Cheryl and I would like to do. And Kelly, she has a uh, uh, business. She's the proprietor of Midland Food Tours. So uh, she just started that last year. So if you're in the area around Midland, you might want to stop in and check that out for a unique food experience. Uh, parks around there, Owenda, uh, Six Mile Lake, uh, Bass Lake. Those are some parks around there. If you're there and you want to try a unique food experience, you might want to check out Midland Food Tours. And I'll put a link in the description below.
to the beach. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> Fifty-seven kilometers southeast of the park are the Bonashir Caves. For a fee, you can get a guided tour of these beautiful caves. That would have been really cool to go to. We didn't go there. Instead, we came to Beaver Tails in Killaloo, Ontario. It's just 23 kilometers southeast of the park. This is the birthplace of the Beaver Tail, Canada's pastry. They were first created here by a family in 1978 and sold at the county fair in 1980. They opened up their first store at the Byward Market in Ottawa. Since then, they've spread across Canada, the USA, and Europe. Let's try them out. We've got a sunrise and we've got a brownie. So, who's brownie, this, who's Cheryl? This is, well, I wonder, brownies, chocolate hazelnut spread, brownie and white chocolate chunks. It's uh, Killaloo Sunrise cinnamon, sugar, and lemon, which you can squirt on yourself. And you can try that. Mm, so good. Well, it's that time again for Cole's Notes for Bonnechere Provincial Park. Love the park. Love the park. Love the park, yes. This is a little gem. Uh, it's not a huge park, but it's got, got everything you need. It's only 127 sites, but uh, like Cheryl says, is everything you need, and everything you need is in a very close area. Mm -hmm. So if you've got kids, you don't have to be taking them all over the earth to, to get to the spots. You go down to the uh, main area, you've got the beach, you've got the Park. store, you've got the visitor boat, services. Boat launch area. Like everything's all just in that one area. It's not like yeah. spread all over throughout the park. Yeah, the river for boat access, like I said, boat launch. Mm -hmm. Everything is all together in one spot, very easy access. That is where the hub of activity is. Mm -hmm. um, I love the beach. I'm not a beach person, but I love the beach because it's all in a shaded picnic area as well. So there's like the picnic grounds with tons of trees and then a nice huge sandy beach. Yeah, the sandy beach, that's yeah. where you get the, you get the sunshine mm -hmm. on the beach. But if you just move back towards the trees a little bit, you can still be on the sand and mm -hmm. have nice shade where you don't need uh, umbrellas or shelters or that's anything right. like that. So that's really nice. Mind you, there is no real biking trails in the park, but we just did a quick bike ride through all the campgrounds. Yeah, um, you can ride through the park. There's a paved road that yeah. goes through it. Um, a a two-kilometer hiking trail we did yeah. out to the cabins. And if you do want to venture out a little more, as mentioned earlier in the video, uh, there are another nine trails that you can do in the area. Um, now, Algonquin's very close by. What I was going to say, when you come to register at the park, you they don't have the registration office opened. Um, they have in those paper, where you take your papers out of the... Like a newspaper box. Newspaper box. They have one for Bonnechere and one for Algonquin, so just grab one of each of those and come directly to your site. And uh, you can pre-register online or else you can go to the uh, park store to sign in. But yeah, uh, all we did is we went in, it says you don't have to register, you don't get a permit for your vehicle, you don't get a permit for your post, you just come in, and I just went online and went to our email that we received last week telling us, you know, it's time to go camping, mm -hmm. and uh, just registered there. Nothing further needed to be done. Yeah. So it's nice and simple. I was going to say, Bonacher is like a sister park to Algonquin, um, but if you, uh, Algonquin, what, 20 minutes, half an hour away? It's not far. It, whatever... You don't do in the park here, you just scoot on over to Algonquin and there's plenty to do there. Yeah, and that river that we went paddling on, a really meandering uh, it. river. It was nice and deep, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about scraping bottom or anything. Mm -hmm. um, it was good. Yeah. So it was paddle boards, canoes, kayaks. It has a current, but it's a small current, so it doesn't matter I didn't either even way. Notice. There's, there's no I issue. I honestly didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, so it was a real nice paddle. Mm -hmm. um, the sites, love the sites, they're very nice. They're quite spacious, flat, Yeah. no big. real issues. Yeah, most of them 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. And private, pretty private. Yeah. Pretty private, most part. Mm -hmm. Compared to what we've been to. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, this is kind of a highlight of this uh, this four park trip that we're doing right now. Yeah. I like yeah, this one. Yeah, this is I think my top one so far. So let's get to the reading. Mm. It's we we like different things, and as you know, like we like a, a bigger park like Rundy that has uh, a whole lot of uh, activity and uh, a, a lot of stuff. But I like the small parks too. Right, we, you like a lot of different things. You don't want to do the same thing all the time. This is a really nice small park, and there's uh, a lot of good parks. Yeah, yeah, and it gets a pretty good rating. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, like eight, eight and a half. Yeah, you know what. Uh, yeah, probably an eight and a half. This is a really nice little park. Yeah. Um, hopefully not too many watch this video and want to come here because uh, yeah. we don't want to get too difficult to book because we definitely want to come back here. That's right. Yeah. It's a little bit closer. So let's just give it a two. Let's, let's, yeah, it's a two. It's, it's bad. No, no. It's okay. bad. Don't come. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're giving it an eight and a half. Eight there and it is. Okay, Wasp, get away from my coffee. I see you. So next we are heading off to Lake, Lake St. Peter. Peter. And it's even smaller than this one. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's even smaller than this one. So it should be, it's supposed to be a nice little park. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, stay so tuned. Stay tuned. Next week, you'll see Lake St. Peter. Bye. We'll see you then, bye.